so we would like to go to the future now because we have the hardest job. Uh, you guys have the hardest job because it's a lot of people. Which is uh, Amsterdam is small. Uh, it's uh, very uh, everybody knows each other, and when there is something new, there is space and uh, welcoming. But there, every day something happens with thousands of uh, hundred thousands. What do you see the future of making a scene of electronic music? Do you see any possibility like Amsterdam Dance Event uh, kind of organizations? Because you already are involving into workshops. Uh, uh, you guys uh, are already pushing it through, but do you think uh, it will become a, a bit more uh, controllable and more uh, up in the scene uh, existence and more clockwise, which opens and stays, except the uh, big commercial ones, which is more into real electronic dance music, even uh, welcoming commercial one or two nights, but then uh, always opening for underground? Because I don't know, uh, I didn't see any underground uh, since then. Uh, what do you think about this? What do you think about the future of it? Very hard to uh, answer that one because I think what I'm thinking now is uh, we should go back to the underground. What we do before it was underground. Now it's like it's, it's not underground anymore. You know, it's like everywhere. That means it's not underground. It's over, over the ground. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, we're planning to go back and start the underground again because. When we say why the clubs is not going very well or the music is not good, I don't know, maybe good for some people. Uh, but we should think underground again, and that means we should not think so much to make money anymore. You know, and, and because this DJ situation brings the money situation. The club owners now, if we say it's like we want to book DJ XXX, and they say who is that? You know, he plays good music and he says, I don't care because my customers, they don't know. And what is your customers, no? <laughs> you know, if, if you start uh, from that point, it's very hard to bring the real underground, different, you know, some uh, nice new music to the market, it's very hard. Then we, we should forget the club owner ideas now. Then we start with our idea. Back like in days, uh, I have seen perhaps the coolest clubs in the world in Turkey, like COP20 in Ankara and Jukebox in Istanbul. Yeah. And the crowd was so cool, all this um, trend, like crazy dressing up, yeah. and all kinds of things. And as I know, um, in different countries, it wasn't that cool actually. I haven't seen another COP20 in all the world. What happened and why did it just get shut down and why this uh, cool thing just couldn't continue? Uh, back in the days, the clubs were either playing foreign music or Turkish music. And then one summer, uh, suddenly, uh, I don't remember who it was, but they decided, okay, we're gonna play Turkish hits and foreign hits. And, 